What's up everyone, welcome back to After the Storm, and welcome back to the NHL 2005 Dynasty Mode Series, Episode 64. We are on to March. And with that comes the march to the playoffs. And not only that, we have the trade deadline right around the corner. Let's go ahead and take a look at our calendar here. As we're getting through this stretch of teams that are not very good. <laughs> um, we have this matchup here against Pittsburgh. They are 29th in the NHL. We go up against Chicago. Florida not doing hot either. But then we hit Tampa Bay. We hit Philadelphia. Actually, Philadelphia is starting to drop themselves out of a playoff picture here. But Tampa Bay is probably one of the hottest teams in hockey. They have really shot up the standings here as of late. And they traded Javi Bullen earlier this year. They got Keith Kachuk. And that was a, probably a major turning point for them, actually. It seems the goaltending doesn't really matter all that much in this video game uh, for the AI specifically. Uh, Unless maybe you're Minnesota. Minnesota seems like Dwayne Rolson's just stealing games back and forth for them. But uh, an interesting matchup here in a few episodes time against the Tampa Bay Lightning. We got the trade deadline. I don't think we'll be doing much at the deadline. We have what we need on this team right now. I would say we don't. What we really need to do is get healthy. So that's what we'd be looking forward to most. You know, afterwards, though, we... Again, a matchup with Phoenix, Columbus, not very good. Detroit, very good, a rival team right now. Imagine being second in the conference, but only ninth in the NHL. Washington, brutal. St. Louis, potential first-round matchup for us. Chicago, bad. Buffalo doing very well. Ottawa, really shooting up the standings as well. L.A. struggling, potential first-round matchup. Phoenix again. St. Louis again. And then we are into a wet... Uh, a California swing to end the season against maybe we're seeing a potential playoff matchup here either way against the Ducks against the Kings and the Sharks are third despite all of that so we are really into the stretch drive of the season here it's uh, a nice feeling I want to be wrapping this series up I'm so excited to get get going with NHL 06 by the time this all comes out this is way off in the future so um I'm recording this right now in April. I think these episodes will probably be at least May or June before uh, they come out. But I'm really excited to take some time and really get back and familiarized with NHL 06. But we got a long, long ways to go just yet. We've got, um, what are we at? Game 64 of the season. So we've got 18 more after this one to go. And then we got playoffs. So let's... Let's saddle up for at least, we got 34 more episodes, at least for 34 more episodes, if not more of the series. And hopefully, well, actually, I shouldn't say 34 because we're not guaranteed to win the cup, but uh, we want to be raising that Stanley Cup That's in this summer of 2005 for sure. Anyways, on to the preview. Pittsburgh 29th, they are struggling. We've played them before. We beat them. They are Mario Lemieux and nobody else. We have the advantage everywhere. Offense, defense, goaltending, everywhere. Uh, we are now second in the NHL, only behind the Montreal Canadiens. Conference first, division first. We are leading the Western Conference. In goal, Theodore Fleury. Theodore coming off a shutout in the last game against the Atlanta Thrashers. And, uh... Yeah, Fleury is a rookie goaltender who we should be able to beat. Anyways, guys, that'll do it for the preview portion. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get into the game against Pittsburgh Penguins. We are live in Denver, Colorado. A matchup between one of the top teams in the NHL and one of the bottom teams in the NHL, Colorado and Pittsburgh here tonight. This team's met a couple weeks back. A win for the Avalanche in that one. And they'll do it again here tonight after the anthem. Puck is set to drop. 
The Avalanche coming in four nothing winners in their last game against the Atlanta Thrashers. Theodore getting the start in goal again. Team that is on the cusp nearly of getting healthy again. The players are going to be filtering back into the lineup, I'm sure. But as Colorado has talked about extensively, unless it's going to be make or break, I don't think they're going to be rushing any players back as Bill Guerin takes a shot there. That's padded away with the big yellow gold pads. With the Pittsburgh netminder, Mark andre Fleury. Pass across as... The yeah, Avalanche are trying to get it out of their zone. Jackman, there's the Mew. He takes a hit from Surrey. Medano. Rozov there. Malone takes a hit. Solani's got that puck, and he'll kick it out wide. There's Solani. Oh, he gets hooked. Loses the puck. Jackman back the other way. Jackman. Big hit by foot. Separates Jackman from the puck. And Dross gets knocked down by Pareda. Oh, and a big hit on Lefebvre. Back in front. Shot on. Diving over there was Yager, the former Penguin. Kraft, here's Yager. Yager takes a big hit, the physicality earlier on this game. Kraft, big hit there. Takes one from Adam Foote. Flurry. The fave, Tchaikovsky finishing his check on the boards. Lindros, nice stutter step move. Got the defender away and ripped the shot. But Fleury's got that one in the hold. Hamilton on the faceoff. Fada's going to win it though. Burnett. Knocked down by Blake. Miller turns, fires that one up the zone to Hall. Hall interfered with, no call. Surrey turns and fires that one just quickly. Sturback, high note, former member of the Colorado Avalanche. Blake dumping it in, or pick there against the boards. It's turned over, 44 is coming together. Surrey and or pick, high note. Hamilton, there's Hall. He gets a shot in the slot, but flurries there with the glove and makes the save. Struggle of a year for the young netminder, Mark andre Fleury. 16 wins and 56 appearances. Not where he'd like to be. There's Nikolishin winning the draw. Hendrickson is shot off. Nikolishin trying to turn and fire. He gets checked before he can manage it. Here's Hendrickson, but it is offside. And draws winning that draw. Miles. It was foot and Eastwood. Maybe got a step. Shot. It's blocked right into the shin pad of Eric Lindros. Pull you. Boilo, rather. Eastwood there. Lindros stepping into the zone. Turns, fires a wrister. Boilo. Hussey in. Hussey there. Deacon around. Tries to get a shot. Won't really manufacture anything there. And here comes Eric Lindros. Lindros pressed up against the boards by Scuderi. One Wilson. In the first period. Surrey dump it around the boards. Blake retrieved it on the other side, but that will do it for the first period. 0-0 zero, zero the score between the Avs and the Penguins. Cancer charity drive raised over $200,000. A new record. Thank you for your generosity. 9-2 the shots in that first frame for the Avalanche. Score means 0-0. Zero, zero. So the top lines come out to start this period. Medano wins the draw against Lemieux. That one played all the way down to... Mark andre Fleury as Medano's going to dump that one in. Tarnstrom turns it over to Garen. Garen's going to shovel that puck on the backhand. Got it over to Fleury, but he'll make the save. Blake, an excellent stick. 
Tried to play it back to Garen. Rozov. Solani there gets the puck from him. Solani, shot. That one's blocked. Tried to get the rebound. Couldn't manage it. Blake. Big hit by Surrey, and the puck was turned over. There's Solani. Behind the net. Fighting it off. Surrey. Slap shot there. Flurry out way out of his crease to make that stop and cover it up. Hamilton on the draw. Kraft. Winning that one and bringing it out. Kraft there. Try to spin a ammo play. Deo stepped up. Hit him. Here's Miller on the wing. Miller. Pass finds nobody. Pareda there. Turned over. There's Hamilton. Scores. Jeff Hamilton. Found his way through. Gets the goal. And the Avalanche lead 1-0 here in the second. A broken play there. Hamilton takes advantage of that one. Andros winning that draw against Fata. Burnett. Poked there, and it's offside. Former member of the Avalanche, Dan Hino. Having a quiet season here in Pittsburgh. Was traded earlier in the year. Foot dumping that one in. It actually hits the Penguins defender or pick. Here's High Note. Tchaikovsky there. Over to Lindros. Just behind him, couldn't manage it. Fans looking for a call here. Here's Lindros again in front. Tchaikovsky turns, fires, and flurry there with the glove. Excellent save. the draw. Lemieux's going to win that one. And the Penguins will start out. Lemieux poked by Blake who was really the second half of the season here as Dano gets a chance there has really uh, gone to his stick checking as opposed to his hitting. Hamilton on the draw. He's got the difference maker in this game. Kraft will win it. Hamilton there to meet him. It's going to come through a Pareda. There's a shot. Stopped by Theodore. He hasn't had much work. There's Riku Hall. Hall in. Shot. Big save. Kraft. Poked away by Foot. Foot. Tried the shot. Hall into the corner. Dumped around the boards. Miller there. But Orpik retrieves it. And Hamilton steps up, causes that turnover. To Fabe. Foot. Shot on. Into the corner, rather, the dump in. There's Lyles, an excellent stick. That guy causes so many turnovers. Takes a hit there at the line, though, as he enters. Prieta. Kraft over to Morozov. Morozov hits the side of the net on his chance. There's Theodore. Playing it out. Alone off the bench. Here's Lyles. He'll get a shot. Played out to Tarnstrom. Morozov. Solani steps up, throws a hit. Final minute of the second now. Solani in. Shot. Try to go five hole on Flurry. Rodano in front. Shot again. And that will do it for the second period. Jeff Hamilton gets the Opening goal of the contest. The Avalanche take a one nothing lead to the third period. Seventeen three. The shots favor the Avalanche as we enter the third period. A quiet, quiet night for Jose Theodore. Bonin and dumping it in. 
as the Avalanche will look to start locking this one down. Steos back with the dump. Bonin from the point. There's Brigley turns and fires, and Hendrickson diving through, trying to get a whack at the puck. And Fleury's got that one. Head coach Eddie Olchek. See if maybe there's a coaching change to be had, but sure with the draft pick situation, there is some hope on the horizon coming for this Penguin squad. This is, of course, this summer, one of the most hyped players coming into this draft. Sidney Crosby is available. Raised to be seen who will end up with that first overall pick. Big chance there, and Flurry holding that one. Medano on the draw against Lemieux. Medano wins it back to Garen. Garen gets hit, loses the puck, and Lemieux will be poke checked by Surrey. Solani dumping that one in. Morozov back, takes a hit from Solani. Lemieux there. Lemieux takes a hit from Medano as he entered the zone. Solani a shot, paddled away. With Garen again. Past the 50 goal mark on the season. Alone. Pinched up against the boards by Medano. That'll cause the turnover and Garen's back to dump it in the other way. Solani turning that puck over. Alone. Back in with a chance. Couldn't get the shot away. Tchaikovsky finding Yager. Yager rips the wrist shot. Stopped by Flurry, played out, Sturback. Foot presses him up against the boards. Breda down low, there's Orr, pick back in front to Lefebvre, and Kraft had a chance too, but couldn't manage anything. Tchaikovsky, who's had a stretch of really great games lately for the Avalanche, there's a chance from the point. Tipped through by Lindros, but to no avail. Foot dumping it in, Flurry. Flurry there, played it safely to Kraft. Turned over, there's Yager. Shot is blocked. Lyles ripping one from the point, but Flurry is there with the glove and catches that one. Avalanche certainly still in this game, or the Penguins rather, still in this game against the Avalanche. one nothing the score. A shot can really change this all. But even at a 1-0 score, it seems almost insurmountable for the teams against this Avalanche squad when they get to this point of the game. They really do lock it down, play smart, suffocate their opponents both offensively and defensively. And here is Solani, shot on, still got the puck. Back in front, finds Garrett, and what a save by Marc-Andre Fleury. Solani turns and fires off the feed from Medano. It goes right into his shin pad and back the other way. Hussey. Stripped by Blake. Blake will dump it in, but it actually goes right to the stick of Timu Solani, but turned back by the Penguins. Eastwood bringing it in. He's bumped by Garen. Solani dumps it in around the corner. Wilson with four minutes to go here in the third. Hussey knocked over by Blake. Blake there throws a hit on Wilson too. There's Garen. Making a move, Garen shot. Solani turns, oh, he hits the side of the net on maybe a wide open net chance. And Medano's pass goes back between the defenders and will end up back in the avalanche zone. Final minute now, look for Flurry to head to the bench. Or pick into the zone. Flurry heads to the bench. Lyles shot off the net. Lyles dumps it down, maybe tried to go Towards the net, but didn't get it there. 47.3 to go. Penguins with the extra attacker. And on the draw is Hamilton, given the responsibility of being out there right now. Vonnen. 
Miller into the corner against Malone. Back in front to Fada. Passed by Theodore back there. Morozov shot. Miller down the ice. That'll be an icing. It's Boilo gets back to touch that one up. Hamilton's got the go-ahead goal, the game winner as it stands. On a broken play, found his way through and beat Marc-Andre Fleury on the glove side. 27.4 to go. Medano onto the ice. Wins that one directly to Bill Garrett. Garen gives it to Medano. Medano pots that one. As the Avalanche make it 2 nothing and bury the hope of getting back into this game for the Pittsburgh Penguins. Look for back-to-back -back big victories at home against Eastern Conference opponents. 21.9 to go. Colorado Not goal. done yet, but nine, safe to say it's a win for the Avs. Foot, Bill big hit. Garrett. Lifts that one. No icing, waved off. And that will do it. Colorado, 2-0 victory against the Penguins. We'll leave you with the three stars of the matchup. And as always, we'll catch you on the next Avalanche broadcast. So a lopsided game there, 100%. I think our, uh, every time we've played Pittsburgh so far, it's been pretty lopsided. So uh, no different there. That was, um, I mean, Pittsburgh managed six shots all game. That was that was nothing. That's not a good team at all. Uh, but we will take the two points and keep moving forward. So we're getting a reminder right now for uh, our task, uh, which is finish first in your conference by the end of the season is half up. Well, not really half up. We are 64 games in through the season, so um, more than that. But uh, yeah, we are on pace to get our goal of finishing first in the conference. And uh, you better kick it into action or I'll have a bunch of... Well, yeah, my plan was to basically acquire a mini all-star team and uh, try to win the Stanley Cup. So I think we're on course here. So coming off that game, we have another matchup against a team who is on the outside looking in for the playoffs in the Chicago Blackhawks. We're back on the road in our next episode. This is a back-to-back -back situation. We played it at home against Pittsburgh on March 1st. We're playing on the road in Chicago. So Curtis Joseph back into the net uh, for this game against the Chicago Blackhawks. In previewing this, you know, uh, goaltending is their weakest point. I think we played Chicago very recently. I believe we won that game. Uh, but yeah, they, they, they're not playing a very good goalie at this point. Uh, second in the NHL, we are just one point behind Montreal and they have two games already played. So we have two games in hand on them uh, as we continue forward in our season here. So we have a really good chance to not only win the Western Conference, but win the President's Trophy as well, as long as we can uh, really take advantage of these two game, this two game gap against the Montreal Canadiens that we have and uh, get ourselves up there and hopefully uh, secure home ice advantage throughout the playoffs. So we have the advantage pretty much everywhere in this matchup. Uh, Cujo back in, Michael Layden, 79, Cujo in 90, 93. So uh, we have the advantage in goaltending for sure. Taking a deeper dive on to Chicago. They're coming off a 3-2 win against the Nashville Predators in their last game. Uh, they're a little bit better at home than they are on the road, as you guys can see, 15 and 12, 13 and five. Wow. Uh, and Robida is their, still their only injury uh, with a sore neck. But anyways, guys, that will do it for this episode, episode 64 in the books, a big 2-0 win against the Pittsburgh Penguins at home. We will be back with episode 65 very, very soon. As always, a reminder, Tuesday is Thursdays, 5 p.m. Eastern for 
these series here to be uploaded to the channel. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, helps me out considerably. And thank you again for watching the video today. I hope you liked it. We will be back with episode 65 against the Chicago Blackhawks very soon.